Hello guys, welcome to my channel. First of all, let us introduce ourselves. Assalamualaikum, my name is Muhammad Zidini bin Bajri Shah. My name is Muhammad Shahdini Azri bin Muhammad Sufyan. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Ahmad Lukman bin Ahmad Rosdi. Now, we gonna present our mini project named Cupcake Sailors System. Introduction. system. What is cash register? According to Cambridge Dictionary, cash register is a machine in a store that or other business that records each sale and where money that is received is kept. In computer solving, we can calculate the amount that we want according to the system what we have set and it can work if the amount beyond its ability. The cash register includes software in the base price, allowing us to collect the correct sales tax, generate reports and determine the sales of each employee. <coughs> Those programs that provide advanced options usually require us to purchase a separate program, depending on the type of document maintained by our company. We can also manage the system well because it can receive data, process the data according to established rules, produce results and last but not least, save the results for future use. For example, we can make some instruction to save the data and can use it again in future use. After the needed input into the system, we can see the output that we want after running the system. The cash register ensures that our company's payment process runs as quickly and smoothly as possible. They can be used to quickly calculate the total sales price of each transaction and provide sellers with information about the exact needs of the change. This can further simplify the work of the cashier to determine the necessary value for the buyer to pay and be able to determine the purchase balance quickly and accurately. By using the cash register, it can make buyers trust the company more and can attract buyers to buy in our store again. For stores that use purchasing or payment systems such as restaurants, grocery stores or pharmacies, the cash register is very useful to determine the value of the purchase because the price displayed is beyond doubt its accuracy. There is another method that can be used in selling companies that call point of sales or POS. POS is the time and place where a retail transaction is complete. Customers can be customers can execute the payment or services and where sales taxes may become payable. Basically, POS is like a steroid driver cash register. You can use it to manage cash transaction and perform everything that regular cash registers do and you can get more detailed POS reports on these transactions. Employees who were responsible for managing purchases in the past. Based on the title mentioned above, the main idea of this project is about food ordering system and cupcake have our choose to use the system. Customer can order cupcakes either on Hari Raya or any occasion. They might want the cupcakes also for themselves. Since when it comes to Hari Raya, people usually will get any cupcakes to serve for guests who come to their house, whether they can eat from supermarket or other from online seller. In the system, online seller can easily process their customer's order according to the type of cupcakes they 
has been choose. The function that I use in this system are to calculate the price of cupcake that have been purchased and the total price including with option cash on delivery or postage. The system also will be repeated to enter another customer and calculate the number total number chosen for each type of cupcake. This system is very useful for online seller who always get many order for the customer because usually they will use WhatsApp or Instagram platform to proceed their customer order. This situation could change if too many people are ordering the same time. So this is this so this system is beneficial for them because it is effective and systematic. Seller will not counter any problem to process the order that has been made. This is because this system will automatically calculate the price according to the quantity, total price including delivery option and the most important thing that will help seller is this system will calculate the total sale of the day. The, seller, the sellers will not have a calculation problem. They can get the total accurately. For the coding output, we will get the output of the customer details like name and address, the cupcake price, the total price, the delivery charge, the total seller of the day, and the total number chosen for each type of cupcake flavor. There are four types of problem that relating to the situation, which is hard to remember the number of customers attend to buy cupcake, too slow to calculate the price after sum up with delivery charge by using calculator, hard to calculate the total sale of the day, and last but not least, hard to know which flavor will be the customer favorite. There are four objectives for this project, which is to count to count number of customer for each receipt that have been taken out, to calculate the price after sum up delivery charge, to calculate the total sale of the day, and last but not least, to count number customer that interest to buy for each type of cupcake flavor. Basically, this is our project description for our project design. So this is our references to do this program. Now, it's my turn to explain about the flowchart. We're gonna start the flowchart we start. Then we in the two and three box, we will put the variable in the data type. The example of the data type, like double, char, integer and fluid. At jar we have name, address, package type, flavor and option. While at integer we have quantity, at float we have price, total sales and at price. At integer we have total customer, total customer, lemon customer, ginger customer and orange customer. And then we will put the output welcome to Kacak Bakery. Then the process to count the total customer that come to the shop. Enter customer name, enter customer address and enter type of package. Now the option of the package. At the right side we have Christmas. While at the left side we have Hari Raya. For the Christmas we have gingerbread or orange blossom. Then the customer have to enter the cupcake flavor and the quantity. Then for the cupcake flavor, on the right side we have for the orange blossom, which the process is price equal to six ringgit multiply the quantity, and for the 
below side we have gingerbread which is the process is price equal to RM550 sing multiply the quantity at the left side we have for the hari raya we have the menu which is M for chocomin and L for lemon blossom then enter the cake flavor and the enter quantity then uh, for the option we have two side which is for the below side for the lemon blossom which the process is price equal to 450 sen multiplied by the quantity and the left side we have for the chocomin which is the process is price equal to rm650 sen multiplied by the quantity then the process combined at delivery option which is y for cod and n for postage below of the input we have option uh, which is y at the right side which is cod and n at the left side for postage at the right side the process is total price equal to price plus 5 ringgit while for the left side the process is total price equal to price plus 10 ringgit then the next process is the output of the process which is display total price so when is the option either the customer want to continue to buy or not if the customer want continue to buy the customer will go to the top of the how chart at the customer equal to total customer plus y if the customer doesn't want to move the new uh, the customer will get the total price of his buying then the flow chart to continue to the display of the receipt for the seller now let's discuss about the list of coding this is our programming coding for the cupcake seller system so uh, as you can see this is all about the uh, programming okay first of all this is our function that i that we are uh, use basically for the first function is we want to read uh, data about the customer detail so then uh, with this function we can get some of information about the customer like uh, name address and uh, what type of package that they were interesting about our shop and sec second function that we use uh, over here is total price uh, which is consists of total payment is equal uh, price uh, uh, multiplied by quantity so that we can get the total payment after that and the third function we use is uh, to calculate the op option which is uh, we want to calculate the total price of the cupcake including delivery option so that uh, over here will be the sum for the price by adding uh, adding adding the uh, delivery uh, price which is for uh, cash on delivery will be 5 ringgit and postage will be 10 ringgit so we're back to the main okay this is um, our main function we are this our this is our variable all the variable that we declare uh, for uh, and then uh, this uh, this this variable will, will function for the number of customer which is at the end of the uh, system the 
it will be calculate the number of customer for each receipt have been taken out so and then uh, if the customer choose uh, for choose a type of package for Hari Raya Festival there will be they need to choose whether they want to try the cupcake flavor for M or Choco Mint or L Lemon Blossom for Choco Mint the price will be 5 ringgit uh, as 6 ringgit 50 cent and the uh, Lemon Blossom will be 4 ringgit 50 cent same to uh, Christmas Festival which is Ginger Bear will Sell about the uh, five ringgit fifty cent, and the orange blossom will be sell for the price of three. So then, uh, as you can see, this variable uh, are used to control the number of the customer. So that the, at the end of the seller receipt, it will be state the how many number customer are choose for the flavor so and then I uh, over here will be display the display the customer to enter the quantity of the cupcake and then uh, over here the total for the total price function and then uh, uh, over here will be the seller receipt that I will show you later Okay, now I will show you how it is work. So we run. Okay, and as I say uh, early, the customer will be count uh, automatically. Okay, uh, uh, for the beginning, it will be first uh, customer. So we need to enter the customer name. So the name will be Isaac. Uh, sample has it yeah, and, uh, and then we need to enter the address for delivery uh, and then uh, the customer need to choose whether he want the package for other festival or Christmas festival so for example we choose area area possible and then we need to and then the customer need to choose whether he want the flavor of uh, choco mint or lemon blossom yes. and then we choose for M choco mint and then we need to and then, and then the customer need to state that how many quantity of the cupcake he wants for example, 25 and then we need to choose whether you want to cash on delivery or postage we choose cash on delivery yeah, and then the total price will be stated over here and then the, the system want to know that the system want to know whether we want to continue or not so over here if we want to continue, we can just state why to continue the next customer so that the customer will be number two. Or if not, if not, if we state the the uh, seller receipt will be come out like this. This is the seller receipt. And now, like uh, like if uh, I, like before. We choose the chocolate, so the customer it will be white, and then the total sale it will be the sale before over here. So it is same. So I think that's all for most. Thank you.
Yeah. Oh, 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 o